when is a defendant entitled to a jury charge on temporary and lawful possession of a weapon? To find out, you have to read People versus Ruiz. It's only five pages. Don't have time for that? I got you covered. The TLDR episode on People versus Ruiz, 2022, New York Slip Opinion 0792, published December 15th, 2022. This is a criminal case. And the issue in this case is when is a defendant entitled to the temporary and lawful possession jury charge, uh, which is a mitigating defense to a criminal charge. The facts here are tragic. The female defendant had an estranged ex-husband who had previously broken into her house and attacked her and her family. So her boyfriend, the female defendant's boyfriend, told her, don't let anyone come in the house and left. She woke up in the middle of the night to hear someone banging on her closed metal door saying that they were her husband. She said to leave. They didn't leave. So she grabbed a gun and fired through that closed metal windowless door, killing not her estranged ex-husband, but her boyfriend. She's charged with murder as well as with criminal possession of a weapon for having the gun and firing it. She gets the justification defense uh, with respect to the murder, but the, the trial judge denies her application for the temporary and lawful possession jury charge. The, she's convicted, it goes to the appellate division who reverses, and it goes to the Court of Appeals. And they're holding, she's not entitled to that charge. Why? Because to have a temporary and lawful possession charge for the criminal possession of a weapon charge, they reiterate what the law previously was. They uphold the law, and they say that you have to both have a legal excuse for the possession, and also, critically here, once you have possession of the weapon, you have to use it in a safe, non-dangerous manner. And here they say she failed to do that. She used the gun when she possessed it in a dangerous manner, shooting through a metal, closed, windowless door, endangering whoever was on the other side, as well as herself or her family, if the gun ricocheted. So the holding here is a reaff reaffirmation of the previous law. To have that charge, you have to have two parts, lawful possession on the front end and safe usage on the back end. If you like what you just saw and want to see more just like it, please hit like or subscribe to let me know.